what we have to see tonight. Kong. Skull Island. 2017. Just came out today, slash yesterday. Check the t-shirt out. Let's go. Game's on. Yo, just got out of seeing Kong Skull Island 2017 March the 10th and it was an enjoyable romp for what it was uh, stay through the credits we'll talk about that in a bit but basically Kong Skull Island basically goes back to the infamous island in the 70s this time Vietnam time where Kong's ruling the island, he's the last of his species and he's defending the island against all kinds of monsters inc including skull crawlers, including a gigantic one which appears at the end. Lots of action, human action, once the action starts kicking in it's worth watching then isn't it? Yeah definitely worth a watch, we completely. Wa yeah we watched it in 3D and like I said, it's one of those films where you again you must you probably have to turn your brain off. Uh, the cast was pretty good. Um, the monsters are getting the cast one by one, and Kong is huge, huge he's gigantic in this film, giant humanoid looking, isn't he? Oh yeah, definitely. He would have. Uh, I, I can I can see a complete mashup between um, going back to the previous film that we both reviewed, Godzilla. Would be a perfect match match up for those two. Um, it's just brilliant film all all round, realistically. And mm. I, I would tell anybody to go see it. Really interesting, interesting. Because if you stay at the end of the credits, because this is a bit of a spoiler review now. Um, it clicks on to revealing Godzilla two, which will be by the Krampus director instead of Gareth Edwards this time. And. It reveals uh, in like it's it's the Monarch team from Godzilla. Do you remember the Monarch team from, yeah, yeah, from Godzilla I, 2014? I, I particularly remember them. Yeah, it's, it's just a vague reference in Godzilla more than it was to it, what it is in Kong. Really, it is, when you think about it, it's the Monarch team with John Goodman. Yeah, yeah, true. You do have John Goodman there and what have you, but you don't overly hear the name Monarch and everything within Godzilla, yeah. whereas in this one they explore that in more depth and more Yeah, detail. they do, don't they? Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Uh, and at the end, basically, if you stay through the credits, when you we're sit through the credits, it is worth, people left, oh. there's a couple of us left uh, staying through the end of the credits, and basically we get glimpses, uh, well, kind of kaiju drawings, um, of Godzilla, Rodan, uh, Mothra, and the free-headed King Ghidorah, don't we? Oh yeah, definitely. So I was looking forward to G2, which comes out in a couple of years' time. But also, after G2, we're going to get Kong vs. Godzilla. I wanted to tell oh. you about that. This is why I wanted us to stay through it. But, back to Kong, Bank Kong Skull Island. Enjoyable romp. Kong fights all kinds of monsters, there's all kinds of monsters in there trying to kill people, trying to eat people, sort of thing, and giant arachnids, giant octopuses, <laughs> yeah, the school crawlers, the, the, the tribes in there. I will say, keep an eye on the birds. Yes, keep an eye on those flying birds. <laughs> um, we'll just get that one right. And... Um, Yeah, it's, it's mainly action-packed. It's a big difference from um, from the likes of um, Peter Jackson's Kong. But I wonder if Andy Serkis actually did the, the Kong effects in this. I wonder if he actually helped out in this one like he did on the Peter Jackson King Kong and also advised on the original, well, I would say original Godzilla, the Godzilla for 2014. Check it out. Definitely worth a look. See you soon. Game on.
So I'm after thoughts now on Kong Skull Island 2017. Basically, it is a bit of a B-movie. It's a fun one. It's got quite a decent cast in it. You've got uh, your Tom Hiddleston, uh, Brie Lawson, Samuel L. Jackson, John C. Riley as the main supporting cast. Samuel L. Jackson is trying to kill Kong because at the beginning of the film, um, Kong takes down a load of um, fighter helicopters uh, which go to the island. My little brother enjoyed this and he thought it was actually better than the Godzilla film which came out, which is quite relevant to the rest of the, the story which, which we spoke about. And I enjoyed the film for what it was. Kong's traits in him were very humanoid-like and uh, a big difference to the Peter Jackson and the original King Kong from 1933. Enjoyable film. I do recommend people to go and see it, stay through the credits, uh, like me and my brother did and everything, and just enjoy it for what it is. And I love the music to the film as well, which, like I said, it was a bit B-movie-ish and everything, um, which kind of might put a few people off, but it might, it might entice a few people as well. But it's in general, this like a wow kind of experience for me watching Kong Skull Island and leading up to what's going to lead up to next, so check out Kong Skull Island. The film also stars John Goodman, who was in the latest Cloverfield film, uh, Roseanne, um, and he was also in a film called Matinee. John Goodman's in it, I forgot to mention him, and also the soundtrack to this film contains many late 60s, early 70s music from the likes of Black Sabbath, David Bowie, um, all kinds of like retro music really that kind of always comes back into fashion somehow. See you soon guys. Kong.